Warm greetings from the high 10. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. Uh, I'd like to bring you said information pertaining to the relief aid that um, will be administered by the national government here in the United States to all Americans who filed a income tax uh, for 18 and 19. There is another um, set of information that has just been revealed pertaining to that, and I may have misspoke only by what I've given at the time, but now I need to give you this set of information that, that has just been released by MS, MSN.com if you need verification for the storyline. The list of those who won't get a $1,200 aid check is growing and includes some surprising groups. So please listen carefully to the information I'm about to give to you, and these are the steps you will need to take uh, to get the $1,200 check if it applies to you. The <clears throat> One second, loading up. Sorry about that. Social Security recipients who don't usually file tax returns will automatically get $1,200 payments, Treasury says, in reversal. Okay. The Treasury announced late Wednesday that Social Security beneficiaries who typically do not file a tax re return will automatically get the $1,200 payment. The announcement is a reversal from earlier in the week when the Internal Revenue Service said everyone would need to file some sort of tax return in order to qualify for the payments. Democrats and some Republicans criticized the IRS for requiring so many extra hurdles for this vulnerable population to get aid when the government already has their information on file. The reversal came as the Trump administration tries to rapidly get stimulus payments out to Americans in the face of the quickest economic decline in modern history. This is weird because I just read the story that said you all had to file a tax return if you drew Social Security. And by the time I decided to pull this back up to make this video, which that's only been not even 10 minutes ago, it's now saying you don't need, <sighs> you don't need to file a simple tax form. This is, this is really weird. Okay. Social security recipients who are not typically required to file a tax return need to take no action and will receive their payment directly to their bank account, said Treasury Secretary Stephen T. Mnuchin. The $2.2 trillion aid legislation passed in response to the coronavirus pandemic directed the Treasury to look at Americans' 2019-2018 tax returns to determine if they are eligible for payment. But the law also said Treasury should look at Social Security data for seniors and the disabled. Criticism poured in after the IRS posted a notice on its website on Monday, instructing Social Security recipients who do not normally send in a return to file a simple tax return, which would be available soon. More than 15 million Americans on Social Security do not file an annual tax return because their income is so low, according to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. 41 Democratic senators sent the White House a letter Wednesday asking why the Trump administration is placing this significant burden on senior citizens and the disabled. GOP Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri called it ridiculous. During the last recession, when the U.S. government sent most Americans a stimulus check and required a filed tax return to get it, 3.5 million Social Security recipients were left out because they never sent a return, according to a 2008 Treasury Department analysis. There were concerns that even more people won't file during the pandemic, but the Trump administration ultimately reversed course. Mnuchin said that di direct deposits should begin by April 17, followed by checks in the mail. About 60% of tax filers gave the IRS direct deposit information in recent years, said Nicole Kading of the National Taxpayers Union Foundation, the IRS said there will soon be a web-based portal for people to update their direct deposit information.
Beyond the tax filing hurdle, millions of other Americans are realizing that they don't qualify for a coronavirus relief check. Most high school seniors and college students won't get any money. The bill gives nothing to families for their children older than 16, a shock to many households already reeling from the canceled graduations and college students readjusting to life at home with so many universities shut down. Many immigrant families are also learning that they are ineligible. In order for anyone in the family to receive a payment, each person in the household, including children, is supposed to have a valid Social Security number. Nick Guerrero of Mesa, Arizona, has learned that he's one of those who won't be getting any money because he's 18, another blow to his senior year, senior year of high school that is quickly unraveling. On Sunday night, Guerrero was video chatting with a dozen friends and they laughed at the thought of having to hold a virtual prom and getting their high school diplomas via email. It still seemed unreal. On Monday, they woke up to the news that school was canceled for the rest of the year in Arizona. It was like a shot to the heart, Guerrero said. Some of his friends have lost their after-school jobs. He planned to get one soon to help save for college, but that is no longer possible. He has been applying for college scholarships, but some applications require him to use a fax machine or send a hard copy of his paperwork and he no longer has access to the school printer. Money is tight and his family had to borrow from a relative to pay for his advanced placement test this spring. His parents, an education professor and a golf coach, expect to receive the government relief payment in April, which should help, but they won't get the $500 for him. Guerrero trades text messages on a chain with about 25 friends, classmates he hasn't seen since spring break started on March 6th. Each day brings some harsh news about people they, they know getting sick and families hurting for money. His mom's phone pings frequently with SOS messages from college students who can't pay their rent. It seemed crazy to me that 17 to 18 year olds won't get this. We're losing our jobs too, he said. Okay. That is the said information. Oh, wow. This was by the Washington Post. So obviously, this was just uploaded 59 minutes ago. So while I, as I stated, I was um, looking at the said article about people drawing disability and Social Security needing to file a simple tax return. Soon as I go back in to open that article back up to, you know, read to you all, that's when it says it was reversed. It said late Wednesday. So somebody just, some Democrats just put this across Mr. Trump's desk and reversed the fact that you, people drawing Social Security do not have to file a simple tax return to get the $1,200 stimulus coronavirus check. Please listen to me carefully. As of tonight, April 1st, Wednesday, 2020, you do not need to file a simple tax return. Recipients of Social Security and disability uh, benefits, if you receive those, you don't have to get a form. And that's what I was curious about was that, well, how would they get the form? Because, you know, it's hard trying to get a form with things closed, such as the library, the post office. Those were the two places that I was directed to go to to get a tax form if you needed one for, just to file for 1819. If you hadn't or anyone needing to file, you needed to go get the if you're not filing it with a company like H&R Block or whatever. So naturally... Someone checked at the post office and said they didn't have any. And then the library is closed. And that's usually a place that allegedly holds 1040 forms. So that would have put people in a very bad predicament to try to go out and get these said forms if they had to. And the place are not even open to get the form. So I guess the people was going to have to call this, you know, log on to this IRS.gov. And maybe what put their name into the system to, to receive a form or ask them to send them a form. I mean, because obviously they want it done on a legal form or via internet. So, as I state, this is the new world we live in. Everything, every business, company, corporation, government, state, always want everything done online, done online, done online. But as you see, you have to have a computer to do most things. And you also it would be a problem doing the IRS forms because one, it is a form. And if you need to Xerox it, how would you Xerox it or get the form if you don't have a printer?
That's another issue. So you see, it's always stipulations. But as I state, the government has reversed the simple tax form for people drawing Social Security and disability benefits. You no longer have to fill out a simple tax form. You just need to log on to irs.gov to put in the set information, I'm, I'm assuming, for your bank statements and address to make sure all that is up to date so you can get the 1200 directly through your account if you so have a banking account. That's what I know so far. So if you draw a check, you need to make sure you have given the correct address and banking information to receive the check. So please log on to irs.gov. I have not looked today to see what the latest information is on there. Let's give them to maybe tomorrow or so. But please check that site out to make sure you're complying with all the rules and regulations in order to receive the stimulus check so there will be no malfunction after July 15th because that is the last date for Americans to file their taxes or get a tax return. So you don't want to wait till the last minute. And from this article, it's stating if you have a bank account, the information will automatically be in the system and you will get your money through your bank account. And then people receiving checks by mail will come after those who receive their stimulus check via direct deposit. I hope I've been clear with this set information. If you need verification, please log on to the Washington Post. And this is in relation to receiving a stimulus check if you draw Social Security and or disability benefits. This has been a long day on this horn. Do you hear me? But I hope I have been of use and help helpful to some of you out there in getting the know of said information pertaining to this deadly virus that is circulating the globe. I pray for all of you, your safety. I'm praying for those who ain't staying in the know. I don't believe in dwelling on things either. I can at times, certain things, but I understand some of you don't want to stay in the know about the coronavirus, and I understand that. But I think when it's pertaining to your livelihood and anything pertaining to you bettering your situation and circumstances at the moment, you might want to stay in the know about what's going on with the government <clears throat> pertaining to rules and regulations, the distancing situation, the um, stimulus check, and just knowing what will be open, what will be closed. Those are things you might want to know, unless you just enjoy staying in your home and being oblivious to what is going on in the world. And some people live like that, frankly. I've met people like that that don't care about anything. They don't care about their town. They don't care about city council meetings. They don't care about what's going on, a roadblock, a road flooded, you know, just basic stuff. Doesn't have to be a pandemic. They don't care about anything going on in their town. They don't care about what's going on in the town next door. They don't care about what's going on in their state, any bills being passed. And let me tell you, that is the worst type of human that just says, I don't give a damn about nothing. Because let me tell you, it's usually those people are the first ones to holler when things go bump in the night pertaining to their household. They lose their damn minds because they've kept their head in the sand and played stupid and dumb. And when stuff pops off, then they want to go hollering down the mountain. Woe is me. Woe is me. This is why you've got to stay inclined. You don't have to sit and watch social media and the news, you know, just hour for hour for hour. But you need to peek at the news to some degree just to see what is going on locally in your town in your state, and also nationally. It never hurt anybody to have a bit of information because knowledge is key. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, drop your comments below, and good night, America. God bless you. God bless everyone, everyone abroad. Bless the children, the pets. You all stay safe out there. And please follow the distant rules and keep your hygiene up. Wash your hands because we want to keep you around. We want to keep you around. God bless you and have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.